Hello, I'm Gaming Dave, and I don't tend to do videos very much, uh, and I'm only got an hour and a half before work, so won't, this won't be edited in any way, shape, or form. Just I've done something I found interesting that I wanted to share, um, so I thought I'd make a video about it. You'll have to excuse the unedited nature. You'll have to excuse the fact I'm a little bit tired and possibly uh, excuse a rant or two because this is about the third take of this. Okay, so I've done something interesting um, or interesting to me, so I thought I'd share it. I've basically, I've broken an AI. I've, I've completely broken it. I've, I've given it nightmares. Um, like quite horrific I, I feel a little bit bad for the AI uh, so let me explain um, I'm going to have to explain a few things there are two concepts to training an AI there is the dream proof concept where you are making a model uh, so you're making a whole sort of between two and nine gigabyte file where you're, you're teaching it thoroughly and that the stuff you teach it there, you are showing it images and it is really looking hard at those images. You, it, it's quite manable. To give you an example, um, I've created quite a lot of models on 1.5 of uh, myself and mates to use in images. So that um, if I prompt it with my token, Dave District Me, uh, this is my real name, hello, I'm David, uh, it will then go and generate uh, images of me. Now, to clear one thing up very quickly and to try and avoid going into a rant, it does not take parts of those images that it's trained on and use them. It doesn't copy them in any way, shape or form. You're basically showing it the images to teach it, this is how you make me. So, it's like showing it a circle and saying, this is a circle. A circle is round. A circle is 2D. A circle is like this. Make me a circle. It could make something that might look like that original circle because that's a very basic shape and you can't really make very many different uh, circles. And this is an incredibly bad analogy. Um, but it would not make that exact same circle. You wouldn't be able to tell because the circle is a very basic shape. Uh, bad example. So uh, basically, when it's generated images of me, no image of me has looked exactly like any of my photos. I can see it's me. It's 99% me, but none of them are an exact copy of any of the photos. It's as simple as that. It doesn't do it like that. So that's, that's a model. If you do an embed, you are basically showing it some pictures again, but it's not learning as much. It's creating a a small file, which is very convenient for hard drive space, where basically it looks at that for instructions on how to create stuff. Now, that's not as versatile as creating a model. But it's also, it's quicker to do and I suppose it's more versatile in a different way because uh, you, you don't need to use an entire model. You can use any 2.1 model with a 2.1 embed and it will work. It might not work as well as the model it was originally created for, but it will still work. Uh, it, it allows you to avoid possibly overtraining and it avoids you breaking the AI like I've done, you know. Now, when I created the embed, I used um, a few horror generations that I'd done. I used a few publicly available um, horror images, basically just to teach the AI what horror looks like. I then had it create a load of horror images, and I then used those images to further train the embed on what horror looks like. And you do that a couple of times so that it really gets a feel for it. And this, this is what this embed is, this, this horror embed, not what's going on in the background here. This, in the background is, is my broken AI. You know, this AI is not going to be released, and I'll explain why in a minute or two. Now, this is my embed that I've released on Civetti. 
and version 1 and version 2 are a bit of a misdemeanor, uh, misdemeanor even. Uh, basically version 1 is just objects. So it does do style, which is, uh, you know, the kitchens here, etc. But it was designed to make objects, uh, basically to horrify objects. So, you know, make uh, creatures and stuff along those lines, which, uh, you know, people like. It, 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 does, it does its job well, and I'm, I'm quite proud of it. Version 2, I went from scratch again, using some of the images from version 1, uh, which is version from several unreleased versions. And there's, there's versions later than this that haven't been released yet, including the one that I used uh, last night which will be released soon. Now, the version 2 is a style, so it's basically supposed to horrify whatever you put into it. So if you put into a kitchen, it's supposed to horrify the kitchen. No, because the kitchen's not horrified. The kitchen's agnostic. The kitchen doesn't care that, it's, that it looks like a, a student's kitchen. It's basically, uh, you know, indifferent about it. It's agnostic. So uh, bas basically, it's... It turns um, things into horror images, and it seems to assume that horror images should have text on them. Uh, it doesn't do that all the time. It's a bit annoying when it does that. Now, these are created by me. Take a lot of prompting to do, and a lot of editing as well. Look, it's Christmas! It's Santa Claus. Anyway, so that's that's the embeds. Now, I created the uh, Horror by Dave embed, which is one that's not been released yet. I still need to do some testing on it to make sure that the results it generates are worthy of uh, putting it on to release. I created a load of images with it. And then last night before going to sleep, I left my PC uh, doing Dream Booth. This is how you make models. Yeah, you create a model there, set up the parameters. Um, I told it 75 images per, uh, 75 training steps per image, 250 being the default. Basically, because I didn't want it to take 28 hours, <laughs> I fed a lot of images into it. So basically, I told it to do 75. It was going to take four hours. Uh, I got up and checked on on the progress. And this is what you're seeing in the background, is the AI that uh, I've created. Now, the reason for not releasing this. I'd like to release this. It, it, I think people would find it curious. Um, I think people might enjoy using it, uh, especially if they like the horror aspect. Um, yeah, they might get a kick out of it. But... It's not a proper model. It's a broken model. You can't prompt it. It it, it looks at what you're prompting a little bit. Um, in my test, it has changed the image a little bit. But you are completely aback from this. You are completely not under control of this AI. This AI is just doing its own thing, which is not what AI art is about. Prompt crafting is a huge part of AI generation. Um, this, this, this is scattergun. This is just, it's just going to randomly generate images. And, um, yeah, that's not what AI art is about. Uh, AI art takes skill. It takes, um, prompting and it takes editing the end result really as well. Um, often quite severely, uh, especially if you've got a hand. AI really doesn't like hands, but it doesn't matter what prompt I give this AI. It, it just sees it through a haze of horror. I have given this AI nightmares. Um, I do intend to use some of its uh, creations to train a new horror AI. Uh, but obviously as an embed. Because training it as a model just... Yeah, that's just broken. That's just gone wrong. <laughs> so... Um, give you an idea of how the embed is trained these are some of the images that uh, i created that i then trained it on so uh, uh, your standard kind of horror stuff as you see the kitchen that i fed back into it 
uh, it's always a good idea just to feed it back into itself. Uh, these are the source files, the destination files are slightly different. Uh, trying to teach it, you know, adding images of people so that you could generate horror with people in it as well. Uh, which, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not the greatest of training sources, but you know it, it does the job. And then if I scroll up, see when you're actually using the embed and able to influence it, you get images like this. I I, I tried to do some ones of cars with monsters sitting on them, and you know I succeeded quite well on that. And these are pre-editing and stuff like that. Uh, I really like this one. It, it it would take too long to edit it into a, a proper picture. I'd, ha I'd have to outpaint the outside. But it kind of just makes me think of a monster replacing the tyre. Uh, I, I think that's kind of funky. Um, but outpainting does take a lot of work to get to go. I mean, it's, it's, it's sliced it in a very bad place. But yeah, other than that, I like the aesthetic on it. Uh, something I might actually do. I might I might take the time to outpaint that and get it all sorted out into a nice into a nice image. You don't just click the button and uh, use the images like some artists seem to believe we do. But I'll go. I'll start going into a rant if I go along that line. Uh, the other thing I like doing with the horror embeds is things like monsters on motorcycles. You know, because you, you can prompt it. I'm just trying to find the monsters on motorcycles and Christmas. That one I did share as just a full release because that was just a very nice image. But the Nightmare uh, AI, because it's been generating for a while now, uh, there's the motorcycle ones. Uh, I believe the Nightmare AI started generating. Yeah, I think you started generating here. I tried to do the monsters riding the motorcycle again with the horror AI because that was the last prompt I'd done the, the night previous with the embed, and I noticed something was wrong. And these two were the wrong resolution, so it, it it really kind of got confused on that. And um, yeah, it was like, well, those aren't motorcycles. Those aren't monsters on motorcycles. Okay, what about a family picnic? That's that's not a family picnic. Um. I've been on a few family picnics, not very many, and not for a very long time. But the one one concept, if someone said to me, hey Dave, what do you know about family picnic? What's the first thing that comes to mind? A corridor full of blood is not one of them. Um, I, I think we've just broken the AI very, very much here. Um, you know, a supercar racing down the road, hyper-detailed, photorealistic, 8K. It's got a road. <laughs> yeah. The Teletubbies. Um. <laughs> now, to be fair, I have not seen the Teletubbies in a very long time. But, I'm fairly certain that that is not Tinky Winky, Poe, or the other two whose names completely escaped me. Yeah. These... These these are not the Teletubbies that I remember. You know, that's just um No, no, that 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 would be a very, very, very different kids TV show. Uh <laughs> that is quite a nice image actually. Um from a hollow aspect kind of view. I like the way the grass is done and the, the aesthetics, although it's not quite on the horizon right there. Um, but other than that, that's quite that's quite nice. But it what it isn't is a Teletubby. Now the way you can know that this isn't a Teletubby is if you look at the stomach, you'll notice that what appears to be here is twisted and gnarled rib cages, whereas your average Teletubby has a telly in his tubby. No telly and tubby, just twisted gnarled ribs. Not a Teletubby. So I thought I'd have to clarify that. Just in case. Because there might be some Americans who've never heard of Teletubby that watch this video. 
although I've probably ranted on for so long that people are not watching anymore. So, hello and welcome if you're still watching. Uh, so obviously I, I, I tried some other prompts to see if I could get the AI to, to do what to do my bidding basically. Um, uh, where we go? Yeah, people running in a park. Mhm. Mm <laughs> people running from a monster in the kitchen. Sorry. Yeah. My apologies. That's that's not even remotely kitchen. That could pass as a park. Uh, here we go. Is people on a park in a park? Is it people in a park on a Sunday afternoon? Photo hyper realistic 8K. They're playing and they're happy. See the happy people playing in the park? Um, people in the park on a Sunday afternoon, photo escape. I mean, that, that looks like quite a nice image of a kitchen, you know? It's definitely not a park. Uh, Cat-headed pilot one, that's something I do with a, a sci-fi feel. Um, again, it's quite a nice image. That's a very sci-fi feel. That would take a lot of cleaning up to make it into a an image that uh, you could share on something like Art Station or anything along those lines, but um, it's quite a pretty image from a whole of aspect. But again, it's not a cat headed pilot, is it? Uh, I left it doing uh, a Christmas living room. It, it got a living room, you know, there's chairs. It, it really got confused there. Um, uh, a Thanksgiving meal with the family. See, at least that one, that's pretty accurate. Um, you know, that, that's fairly quite close to a Thanksgiving meal with a family. Providing your family is a bunch of zombies and you're in the meal. Um, <laughs> oh, this poor AI, this absolutely poor, poor AI. Uh, I know it's not an animate thing. I... I know it doesn't actually have um, feelings, it doesn't actually have emotion, and I haven't actually broken its mind, I've just broken its text in version field, but it, it's hard not to think of it as um, I've broken the mind of an AI. Yeah, Christmas Grotto ones are coming out nice. <laughs> yeah. Uh, basically, uh, that, that's that's the video. I don't know why I just hit generate again. I don't need another thirty eight, uh, another thirty images from the broken AI. Um, oh, one one thing to clarify: why am I not releasing this model? I would really like to release this model. I think people would get a kick out of it. I think um, I think some people would enjoy using it, especially if they want to make the horror aspect and. They are no good at prompt crafting. They just want to see some horror images that the AI can come up with. But you can't edit the prompt. You, you can't, whatever you prompt, it doesn't seem to affect it enough. And that makes it a broken model. With certain rabid artists spreading a lot of lies about AI, uh, especially AI art, they could use that as fuel because uh, there is no interaction between me and the AI at the moment. It, it, it's just, it's not listening to my prompts. It's, well, it's listening a tiny bit, but not enough to make a difference. If I release this as a curio, um, even if I put big old provisors on it, that this is not for generating AI art to use anywhere other than to look at or possibly to use as embeds. Um, They'd, they'd ignore that and they'd take it as uh, oh look at this AI art model it just generates art and there's nothing you can do uh, that's just that's just wrong so no I'm not going to release this model um, this model is probably going to go into the recycle bin at some point I'm going to use this model to make some horror images to help train in a proper embed that you can actually guide um, but that's about it. Anyway, thank you for watching my video. My apologies, it's gone quite long. It's been a bit of a rant in places. Uh, I am very, very rusty at making these videos. Have a Merry Christmas, or 
in this day and age, I suppose I should say, happy whatever you're having. Be it Christmas, Hanukkah, or just a quiet night at work. Yeah. And I, there's something relaxing about watching the AI just slowly generate the images. Yeah. And I, I thought we were going to get one that, that doesn't actually have horror in it. But I can see it slowly warping that to horror. Uh, I need to have a look at that finished image. Kind of curious. Well, that's kind of nice. You know, you can see it starting to do the horror there. It's it's starting to put the teeth in. It's it, it it's transforming this portal into uh, into a mouth. You know, I quite liked it a few steps before it finished, where it looked all chrome and nice. But um. Yeah, the AI was like, no, no. Everything I create must go through a layer of horror. I see the world through terror. Yes, that's how the AI talks. Oh, God. Oh, God. No one give this AI a voice. Please do not give this tortured and broken AI a voice. Oh, no one wants to hear what it has to say. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Um, and have a good... Have a good whatever you're having.